so far, we had to do upsampling and we were doing it using convolutions to the upsampling, using deconvolutions, or we were using a simple uh, bilinear interpolation or even copy and paste your, your pixels from the low resolution to the high resolution, you just copy and paste. There is another way to increase the resolution from one layer to the next one. And we saw the idea before when we were doing visualization of our network, the first, the first paper about visualizing features of a neural network. And that was these switches that we were remembering the index of the pulling layers in the forward pass. And then uh, when we wanted to increase the resolution, we would just copy and paste the outputs in the correct location of where the switch it was recommending. So the idea of this paper is very similar to what we saw before. So this is different from UNET. What you're doing here, these are a bunch of convolutions and these green ones are pulling layers. So that we know, that one is straightforward. For UNET, you take that and copy and paste it here, and then you use a deconvolution. What these guys are doing is you don't copy the input, you just copy the indices. You just remember the indices after the pooling. Where did you pull? And then you take the output of uh, this layer, and because you remember the indices, you just copy these. You're just gonna copy these pixel values in their corresponding indices that you remember from the previous layers. So to be precise, this is what's happening, and this is just the switches. This A, B, C, and D are, let's say, the output of this convolution at this layer. This is A, B, C, and D. And then you take the indices from the pooling. You remember where you pulled. You take those pooling indices, and then you just copy A in the correct location. You copy B in the correct location because you remember the indices that you pulled from. These are the maximum locations. And you do the same thing for the rest. And the rest of the network is very simple. Rather than using deconvolutions, you're gonna use convolutions with their own layers, with their own weights and biases, etc. So this is really smart. But the idea we saw it before, where we were visualizing features of a neural network. So it is clear? Yes. So the question is, do you fill the rest of them with zeros? Yes, you fill the rest of them with zeros. But you are putting your value from this layer in the location that you remember when you were pulling. And remember, pulling is the reverse of that. So when you are doing pulling, you had some numbers here, and the maximum one was located on the upper left corner. So you remember the upper left corner for the pulling. And when you are doing the upsampling, you just copy A in the correct location, the one that you remember. Does that answer your question? Uh, the question is, is it gonna cause the output map to be sparse? It is sparse here at the first upsampling, but then because of these convolutions, what you get here is not gonna be sparse. So no, what you get here after all of your convolutions is not gonna be sparse. Does that answer your question? Perfect, any other questions? And apparently this simple idea is doing very good. Uh, look at the ground truth and look at the predictions of segment, at least qualitatively, it's doing a very good job even getting the fine details to acceptable accuracy. But this is not the case for the other networks. It's definitely not the case here. You are missing your trees, you are missing your lamps, etc. This is fully convolutional network and we covered all of these papers. So the simple idea is working very good. And in terms of mean intersection over union, it's getting 90%, 90.4 for your mean intersection over union. Here's another example of indoor scenes. And now you're starting to see the applications. One is self-driving cars, and the other one is for robotics. And in terms of computational time and hardware resources, it is comparable to the rest of the networks that we saw before. But when it comes to CPU inference memory, it's doing the best, because all you need to do is just copy the indices. Just remember the indices, and that's gonna be cheap. These are integer values, and you don't have many of them. Any questions before I move to the next paper?